When you are in the wilderness place like in Antarctica, you feel like the time has spanned. To catch this beauty, you need to work in a symbiosis with the nature. Because when you work in the studio, you organize everything. But in the nature is totally the opposite. Every plan you make, your action needs to be very fast. Because like the landscape transforms very quickly, so you need to really like uh, catch that with all your sense. Go a little bit in this way, back, 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 back in this way. I was actually a fashion photographer for many years and an uh, incredible privilege to work with an amazing company, giving me the opportunity to travel around the world. But definitely the moment I changed to develop a project about sustainability was when I read about Shackleton. And I say Shackleton was like a very famous explorer 100 years ago. What happened to him was like uh, an astronaut to go to the space and he lost his space shuttle and he managed to come back. So this is extraordinary story, and his incredible desire to the adventure and to never give up inspired me to make my own project in Antarctica. Traveling in Antarctica was an incredible experience. I remember like from Ushuaia, South America, we crossed the passage of the Drake, and this is like the more wide ocean in the world because two massive oceans collided in one point. You witnessed during this crossing the shape of uh, uh, the energy. It was incredible. It was like a cross like a gate. You feel the age of the world. And when you arrive in uh, this imaginary line, the temperature drops super drastically. And you feel you are totally far in a very remote place. And immediately you realize also our responsibility for our planet. The noise of the ice, the title, uh, come because like during the expedition, uh, immediately I feel the sensation of a very, a little bit of fear. And more closer I was, there more fear start. The time we moved from uh, the glaciers, everything fell down on the top of us, it started a massive wave. So the noise, uh, I hear that was the more terrible noise and I've heard in my life, a more strong and more powerful noise. So this is why I come out to the noise of the ice. In my work, in particular in the collection of Antarctica, of course, like the very big topic is like a sea level rise. Antarctica basically is like the big weather control in the world and influences the sea level rise globally. And my book is an ambassador to communicate that. It's an evidence what is the climate changing now. Because I really believe in photography also is the perfect tool because photography don't need the translation. Photographer arrive where words don't arrive. So it's perfect for to have an action about this in this particular moment. The ice, as you can see, is totally unstable. And you know, I hope my work also help like to remember us how beautiful we are, how beautiful our planet is, you know, and we need to protect this. After I come back from Antarctica, I was privileged enough to understand what Antarctica is. And Antarctica influences massively like the, all the ocean in the world, all the wind in the world, and of course the sea level rise globally. So it's a key place to understand the balance of the world. My new project is about Galapagos. My focus is about uh, ocean now, and uh, I choose Galapagos because I think it's a perfect ambassador to communicate what is climate change now and uh, what the ocean face at the moment. And also, like uh, this is why we are here today at FIT, Fashion Institute of Technology, because uh, I create uh, a collaboration with uh, the chair, Jonathan Kelly Farmer. Basically, we create like a body work to inspire new fashion designer to be more sustainable, inspired by the Galapagos collection. So my work is uh, try to unlock this message in a very honest way and uh, try to inspire people to uh, to have like a different uh, attitude with nature and create like a social change desperately now we need. And uh, I hope maybe through my work, people uh, engage in different ways with nature and aspire to have more curiosity, aspire to have more surprise 
and uh, to engage in your dialogue with the nature.